Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, I've been doing my rounds, and most importantly, I've been checking in uh, with Dr. Shen and Dr. Valen on the progress of Mike's cybernetic augmentation. They assure me that everything's going fine. I have been able to take a chance to speak with him. He is still responsive. Uh, he's been in a pretty cheerful mood, and he's quite keen on the idea of becoming, uh, as he calls it, Mecha Bro Zidon. I'll admit, it does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> uh, but, let's see. Uh, since the last time, we did receive a uh, abduction, alien abductions in progress report. Uh, so we, I have thought about it a bit. I do know where we're going to head out to. Um, we, I also know who I'm going to be sending. But before we do that, though, we're going to head to engineering. We're going to head off to the facilities, get our work crews working on another access lift because I want to stay ahead of the power situation for now so we're going to try to get that thermal generator as soon as possible uh, we're also going to put in a requisition order for some uh, for some better armor for our troops so we're going to get three sets yeah three sets of the carapace armor for our frontline troops and two skeleton suits for our more supportive and sniper troops all right, with that taken care of, let's get over to the barracks. Uh, Kyle, I know I'm going to be giving you the one of the carapace armors because you're definitely one of our frontline troops. So let's go ahead and give you that. Carapace armor gives more health, basically. This new body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. All right. Since it is new armor, there are new deco options. So this is the standard deco option. Uh, here's the elite variant, which looks like a powered suit. Quite nice looking, if I do say so myself. Um, here's the tactical variant and the assault variant. However, I'm pretty sure Kyle is going to stick with the elite variant. Uh, Sam is also going to receive a set of carapace armor. However, it's more of we're going to give her the chest piece. However, we are going to give her the deco option so that I can easily keep track of our more frontline troops that are gene modded. So we're going to give her some uh, armored shoulder plates. Uh, Nicole, uh, I'm actually going to be having you set this mission out because uh, we need to get Jason uh, up to speed with the rest of Alpha. So we're going to be taking that medkit and handing that off to him. So Jason, here's your medkit. Glad to have you back. Probably looking forward to getting back out there in the field with the rest of the team. So we're going to be giving you the skeleton suit. Uh, it doesn't give as much health as the carapace armor, but it does give you more defense and it comes with the uh, option of a grappling hook to get uh, high to reach places, as well, as well as giving you the option of moving just slightly faster. Not that you weren't already fast enough. With the addition of a grappling hook, our soldiers should have an easier time gaining a higher vantage point on the field. Alright, so that takes care of that. Let's go ahead and get your deco options in order. So as you can see here, this is the standard deco option. Uh, here's the more elite variant. It's kind of a slightly a powered armor kind of look, just like the carapace armor, although light, slightly less bulkier. Um, well, significantly, I should say. Here's the more assault variant, and here's the tactical variant. But we're going to be giving Jason the elite one, since I'm pretty sure that's what his preference will be. Uh, the next person I'm going to be bringing on the mission is Caffey. I'm going to be rotating between uh, Caffey and Richard um, whenever I bring um, them on a mission with John. Uh, they're pretty much his protégés in this case, but I want them trained up a bit more so that they... <laughs> So that Bravo Squad has a bit more uh, in the ways of a sniper support. Uh, so we're going to give Kathy the skeleton suit. Uh, don't know what her preferences are on it, so we're keeping it standard. And while I would rather give skeletons, another skeleton suit to John and I can easily make one, um, we're going to hold out for now uh, and give him carapace armor, even though he's not going to be on the front lines. That extra health, however, is a just-in-case factor here. We're also going to give you your shoulder shoulder plates back on because for some reason they took it off all right with that taken care of let's see we already did the build facility yes I did 
let's go ahead and take a look at our abductions recap a bit so Mexico is most likely gonna go into full-blown panic it looks like United States is gonna as well Canada maybe they might just hold on a little bit um, United Kingdom is relatively calm South Africa is relatively calm however I think Africa can afford it uh, however the United Kingdom there's four countries associated and I don't want to spread my attention too much so I'm probably gonna be sending Instead of sending my satellites off to Asia and Africa, I'm probably going to be diverting all three of them to the North America countries, so that puts a wrench in my plans a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and send our troops off to United Kingdom. Let's go ahead and clear the roster and get our team in. Alright, we got John, he's got his scope and his... Uh, carapace armor. Kyle's got his carapace as well as the arc thrower. Sam's got her armor as well as the scope with her firepower. Uh, where's Kathy? There she is. She's got her scope and her skeleton suit. And Jason, where'd you go? There you are. You got your med kit and your skeleton suit. Alright, we're looking set to go. Let's launch the mission. Visual on the mission site, setting down. Begin the assault. The next deployment site is in the UK. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Alright, we have Operation Flying Serpent, a alien abductions in Glasgow, United Kingdom. We need to neutralize all hostile targets and locate and secure any mild canisters we come across. Everybody's got all their gear and suited up. Everybody's morale is still relatively high, Jason's feeling good, and he's blasting his music as usual. Alright, let's launch the mission. In fact, that's all I really remember every time I go into the med bay, his music blasting and him playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards with the rest of the troops, especially Kyle. They seem to uh, play, play cards with one another whenever they get the chance. Alright, let's get our bearings. Oh, I thought that was a body for a moment. Okay, we see a melt canister right over there, so we're gonna head in that direction. Uh, it doesn't look like I anything else for now, so we need to get moving. Uh, where should we put our troops? Well, I want to head in this direction. Jason, let's have you move up to this the front of that car. Enemy spotted. Oh, we got two floaters already. All right, they're on the move. They're out in the open, however. That's perfect for Jason. However, can the others make a shot? Let's see. This is a bit of a risky idea of what I'm doing. So we're going to move Kathy over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I was hoping she would have a shot. But we'll switch her to a pistol for now. Jason, you're going to take a shot at one of those two. I don't know which. Take a shot on that one. Unfortunately, you missed. Alright, John's got a shot. He's got a 58%. Let's go for it. Alright, John managed to weaken it. But it's not enough. Sam, let's have you move over here. What is up with these shots? Alright, Sam, go into Overwatch. Kyle can't make it too far. We're gonna run and gun a little bit earlier than I more than comfortable with, so we're gonna move him up against the doorway. He has a 67 on that one. He could easily take that one out, but we'll take out the higher higher uh, percentage. Nice shot, Kyle. Up. Just Advance. retreat. Alright, he's on the move. Alright, he's going over to the secure that melt canister. Does anybody have a shot? Perfect. That's what I'm hoping for. However, it's only a 49%. That's not that good. Can we move up closer and get a shot at him? Kathy, let's move you up to the corner over here. 
That's what we're looking for. We got four turns to make it, and no change in percentage, but let's take that shot with your pistol. Alright, nice job. No problem anymore. Right, Jason. Let's have you moving now. over to this side. We'll secure the parking lot. Oh, I see the other mild canister, and there's two more sectoids. Might be more floaters since we saw two already. John has a shot on one of them. Let's go ahead and take him out. I'm about to start keeping score. All right, Jason, you got a 53 on this one. Let's take a shot at him. Nice job. He's down. All right, Sam, let's have you move up. Move. You're gonna cover Jason. Moving to Overwatch. And Kyle, you're gonna move up and cover Kathy. Rolling. Overwatch. Aye aye. <laughs> All right, we know the locations of both canisters, so we can start heading off in that direction. Kyle, let's have you securing that mount canister. And of course, you jump through the window. I'm not even surprised anymore. Put you in overwatch. Nope, there's no perfect area we could go for a grapple for now. There is over there, but there's no point in that. Jason, let's have you move up That's to the corner, though. That's what we're looking for. All right, we got eight turns to secure that canister. We're doing okay for now. Let's we're have you reload just in case, though. Sam, On let's have move. you move up. You're going to be covering Jason. Roger that. Scanning. Kathy. I really doubt we could get a grapple over there. Even if I do, there's not much I could do from that vantage point. Let's move her up to the Stop. windows for now. See, Kyle? Kathy uses the door. She's a little more sensible in that regard. Alright, let's rush John up there. Alright, looks like there's something in the building next to us. So that's our next target. It doesn't look like there's a way to get inside aside from it's like a back door and a front door. So we're gonna have Kathy secure this mount canister. Okay, I might have spoken too soon. She just went through the windows. But at least she went through the door first. Roger, got my eyes on. I don't want Jason rushing off uh, too soon without backup, so we're gonna move up up to this corner to instead position. of the window. Run. Got my eyes on. Sam, you go I'm ahead and secure way. that corner. Cover Kathy and Jason. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Kyle, let's have you move over here. We're probably gonna have you moving around the back door. And John, we're gonna move you out this way with a better view into that building. Roger that. All right. Kyle, move you up to the corner. Going through windows yet again. Go into Overwatch. Kathy, let's move you around. Get to that doorway. Position confirmed. Gonna overwatch for now. We'll breach next turn. Jason, you hold your position. Sam, you head over there. We go into Overwatch as well. And John, you reload. Alright, they're in there. I know I that for sure. Alone out here. Not in the back alley either. Alright, let's surprise them from back door. Eyes on there they are. 
Alright, so they're moving further in. That one's behind the counter. Alright, Jason. Let's have you moving over here. That should be a good enough for a flank shot. There we go, that's one. Ooh, what was that? Did I go through a neon sign or something? Alright, John has a shot on both of them. Move our troops in. Kathy, you Position get to that counter. Kyle. Well. We won't be able to hit anything from here. We'll run and gun. We'll look at our options once we're inside. Move you up to this shelf over here. Pretty much no matter what this, these sectoids do, they have no room to maneuver. Alright, Sam, you get into this I'm corner. It, Commander. Okay, that was really weird. You went through a window without breaking it. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's look at our options. We could just as easily kill them with the others, but I want to work on getting more promotions for Kathy and Jason. So we're going to try a little bit riskier. We're going to try to weaken some of these. So, Kyle, take that shot. Nice shot. Kathy, let's have you finish it off. Nice job. Well, uh, actually, Jason did make a kill earlier, didn't he? I'm trying to remember. I have a really bad memory on this. No, he did not, actually, so we're gonna give him the kill. He's down. Nice job. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Alright, Operation Flying Serpent is complete. We've killed six aliens, no operatives lost or injured and we've recovered both canisters. Let's bring it home. Uh. Right now, Jason's probably like spraying medkit spray all over Kyle's face. He's probably screaming. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. Alright, it looks like Jason received a promotion, he's now a sergeant. He earned the nickname Angel, although I know he's got another nickname that he's been going by, so we're gonna change that. But for now, let's get him promoted. Uh, once again, we have the option of either Field Medic or Smoke and Maris. Smoke and Maris is nice, like I said before, but we'd rather have more medkits. Alright, we got 4 sectoid corpses, 2 floater corpses, 12 weapon fragments, and 20 melt. The XCOM squad deployed to the United Kingdom has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Glasgow. United Kingdom is deeply grateful for our help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to our project. They received our 4 engineers, however, panic has increased across Africa and North America. We will be in touch, Commander. Let's go ahead and do this now before I forget. Uh, Jason, where are you? There you are. We're gonna go ahead and change your nickname now while I have the chance. If I remember, you are more fondly known as Shadowway around the base. Alright, and let's head over to engineering. The new engineers arrived this Our morning, engineers Commander. have reported in. We're always glad to have more help down here. Let's take a look at the foundry. Is there anything I want to do right now? Well, there's a lot of things I want to do in here, but they're pretty expensive. We'll wait. Let's take a look at the situation room. Yep. Canada is holding on though, but North America, uh, but United States and Mexico are in full-blown panic. South Africa is getting there. Egypt and Nigeria are still holding steady. All right. Let's go ahead and scan for some activity. Panic 
panic is in the United States and panic in Mexico. Alright. Once again, we'll divert our satellites there for the month. And it looks like our cybernetic augmentation process for Mike is complete. Our first mech trooper. He paid the he's made the sacrifice, but he gained something in return. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable, but they're of no use without a cybersuit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Thing of beauty, isn't it, Mike? Alright, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and get a mech built for Mike so that he can go out into field ops again. Now the thing is, without a mech suit, our mech troopers won't be able to engage in combat, so they need a mech suit in order to do anything. So we have three tiers of mechs, however these two are locked for now, but we have the Mech 1 Warden available, and it comes either with a flamethrower or a kinetic strike module, basically a power rocket, um, rocket assisted punch. Flamethrower is nice. It it does a lot of damage. However, the kinetic strike gives a lot more mobility and that allows us to close in with our enemies a lot better with our mech trooper. And given that Mike is a heavy um, is a heavy mech trooper, he has that body body shield ability. So getting him closer, getting to an enemy that has a that is going to shoot at him, they're going to be less accurate. So we're going to go with the Kinetic Strike module. So with that suit ready, we're going to go ahead and get him Our equipped. Our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective. As we continue to deploy our mech troopers, they will grow more accustomed to the suits. And if fortune is with us, help put an end to this conflict. Let's hope so, Dr. Shen. Alright, let's go ahead and give Mike his suit. As you can see, he doesn't have the mech suit at the moment. Uh, I have spoken to him a little bit, and he was wondering what kind of paint jobs were available for the mech. And I've given him some of his options, and I think he's kind of set on the one with a set of shoulder stripes. So we're going to go ahead and get him equipped. He also comes with a minigun instead of his heavy the machine gun. Strike module is a powerful yet precise weapon can provide a decisive advantage in close quarters and remove the benefit of cover from our enemies. Alright, so let's go ahead and get his paint job taken care of on his mech. There you go. Uh, although, I'll scroll through the other ones just in case if he changes his mind. Uh, so he has a stripe variant right here, uh, a camouflage, as and a, a secondary striped one. However, I think he might like this one more for now. Uh, we'll also go ahead and distribute his abilities since they have been redistributed. Uh, collateral damage, basically, he'll use a, the majority of his ammo to uh, destroy cover uh, and do some damage to the enemy, which can be useful. Uh, the next set of options, we have advanced fire control, which is no, pe uh, no aim penalty when he's taking a shot in Overwatch, or getting a plus 15 defense while in Overwatch. The thing about mech troopers is they can't take cover due to their size, um, so having them hide behind larger objects is really their only mean defense. If we give that to him, he'll have the defense, but at the same time he's got the body shield, which should protect him from ranged attacks from the closest unit, provided the closest unit is a ranged attacker. Uh, so we'll go with the advanced fire control so he doesn't waste as much ammo. Uh, at Sergeant, he either has the vital point targeting, which gives a bonus 2 damage against targets that have been autopsy. It's useful, but the damage control, in my opinion, is much more useful because when he takes damage, all further damage will be reduced by 2 for the next 2 turns. That could be very life saving as mech troopers tend to be high priority targets. So, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and scan for more activity. All right, let's scan for some more activity. All right, we got a request from Argentina. 
They're asking for two seeker ranks. We have five. We've been contacted by members of the local intelligence branch in the Argentina who are hoping to negotiate an exchange for some of our seeker wrecks. It would appear they hope to reverse engineer the seeker for you for use in their own covert operations within their country. We can expect a generous donation in exchange for the materials we provide. So they're offering us 20 credits. Not too happy about that, but they are giving us four engineers. That is good, however, because that brings us closer to our nexus. I think we have 30 right now, so yeah, we're one off then. We could dispatch it right now, but we'll hold on to our seekers just in case. Uh, let's check our engineer count. Yeah, we have 30, so we need one more. Uh, let's scan for some more activity in the meantime. Contact Commander, detected. we're detecting a new contact. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Wow. Well, we have another UFO contact. It's in Brazil, it's a large, and it's unidentified, of course. Uh, I'm not sure if this Phoenix cannon is going to be enough. We're going to need to give it some help. Let's head over to engineering, uh, get a boost or two. Let's see, what can we afford to make right now? We'll definitely need the defense matrix. So we'll make one of those, and make, yeah, we'll make a targeting uplink targeting. So we'll get those in place. Let's head over to the situation room real quick. Anything in here I want to sell? Uh, let's sell some thin men. I don't need this many. So we'll sell about nine of those. Anything else is worth keeping for now. So let's complete our transaction. All right, that brings us back. Let's go ahead. Contact detected. Engage that UFO. Launch our Raven. Good luck out there. It's gonna be a tough one. Engaging bogey. Closing on target. All right, let's let's use that dodge. Put up that aim. All right. The interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site, and the interceptor sustained heavy damage in the encounter. I'm not surprised. We definitely need to beef up our weaponry for our interceptors. Let's leave the report. So we now have a UFO crash site to send our troops off to, but we'll take care of this next time. That's it for episode 12 of XCOM Anime Within. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.